So aspirin is the only drug that prevents preeclampsia. First of all, what's preeclampsia? Preeclampsia is hypertension plus proteinuria and organ dysfunction or both proteinuria and endorgan dysfunction which is diagnosed after 20 weeks of gestation. Low dose aspirin prophylaxis is the most useful preventive pharmacologic intervention for preeclampsia. It reduces preeclampsia and it also reduces preeclampsia adverse pregnancy outcomes including preterm birth and growth restriction by about 10 to 20 percent. For whom shall we give aspirin for prevention of preeclampsia? It's not for our pregnant women. It's for those who are at moderate or high risk of preeclampsia. And it has excellent maternal and fetal safety profile in pregnancy. If the woman has any of the uh, following risk factors, we label them as they are at risk of uh, high risk of preeclampsia and we give them aspirin for prophylaxis for prevention of preeclampsia. This includes previous pregnancy with uh, preeclampsia, uh, especially early onset and with an adverse outcome, diabetic pregnant woman, whether it's type 1 or type 2, chronic hypertension, multifetal gestation, kidney disease, and autoimmune disease with potential vascular complications including antiphospholipid syndrome, systemic lupus erythematosus. So once we decide to initiate, when do we start it during the pregnancy? So the best time is to start it between 12 weeks and 16 weeks of gestation. Because the pathophysiologic features of preeclampsia develop early during this time in pregnancy, uh, weeks before clinical diseases are apparent. What about before 12 weeks of gestation? So, aspirin, as a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug, it has the different effects on post production and endothelial function. So, uh, we better not start uh, aspirin before 11 weeks of gestation. What if the is not initiated in the best time between 12 and 16 weeks? We can still start uh, after 12 weeks and we get benefit uh, by its preventive effect. So uh, finally, what is the dose? The dose is 81 mg to 115 mg. There is no clear consensus on the dose, but 81 is uh, commercially available and also as effective as 150 mg per day. So uh, we can use either 8 or 100 mg a day. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.